qualified, professional, and compassionate doctors talking real solutions to real health problems. Traditionally, breastfeeding has always been the norm when it comes to feeding a newborn baby. However, in current times, this seems to be changing. Breastfeeding is becoming an option. Research shows that mothers in rural areas or in the villages tend to breastfeed more than mothers in the urban areas or in the corporate world. Why is this happening? With me in studio are experts from TMR International Hospital to tell us more about the current trends in breastfeeding. We have Dr. Doreen Mazakwe, who is a breastfeeding expert, and Dr. Kenna Wilfred, an obstetrician and gynecologist, both from TMR International Hospital. You're most welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank you. Uh, so we want to understand more about why breastfeeding is suddenly becoming a big issue. Why is there a need to remind mothers to continuously breastfeed their children? I'll start with you, Dr. Doreen, perhaps. Um, being a breastfeeding expert, why, why have things changed? Why is it that mothers these days do not want to breastfeed? What's happening? More and more mothers are entering the workforce. And so that means there is less time left to concentrate on breastfeeding, which is not the case in the rural areas. In the rural areas, mothers can go anywhere with their babies. They are not under any pressure to, to report to work, you know, and, and giving a full day's work without the baby with them, mm. which is not the case with the mother in the urban center. Okay. Secondly, um, there is more aggressive marketing of breast milk substitutes, hormonist is formula. Mm. And uh, of course, these substitutes cost quite an amount of money and the rural woman is not able to afford mm. formula which the middle class woman in the urban area can afford, and so she's the target. And uh, some of these people present these things, not only showing them as an alternative, but as an ideal. Okay, so why is it important that mothers should breastfeed their babies? As far as newborns are concerned, mm -hmm. for us, we know that the best meal for them actually is the breast milk. So there's a tendency now that, uh, as you have mentioned, Mothers are tending to move away from the best meal for the babies and then go to alternatives. Mm. And uh, basically we are here to remind the mothers that still breast milk is the best meal for the baby. Okay, so do you think it could be a cultural issue that cultures are changing? There are now a number of factors. Mm. Not actually culture. The culture remains the same. Mm. But as Dr. my colleague Dr. Doreen has mentioned, mm -hmm. there are already factors that try to influence. That, that influence. So we so, need to come back mm -hmm. as medical people. Okay. So and what could be, wh why is breastfeeding important to the baby? Why should, why should mothers stick to breastfeeding? Because breast milk actually has been found to be the best food for the baby, mm -hmm. for the newborn, mm -hmm. in terms of the content. Mm -hmm. You can't substitute. There are mm -hmm. formulas, but still, that one cannot substitute breast milk. Mm -hmm. Breast milk, in, what, in other mm -hmm. words. So okay. breast milk is still the best food for the newborn, for the baby. Mm. We don't need to substitute. And that one has been proven by science. Okay. That you cannot substitute. So it has the correct All amount the, of yeah, the nutrients. Correct amount of the, nutrients mm -hmm. the, 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 the micro nutrients that are there in the, in the breast milk mm. is the correct one. Okay. Now you cannot now try to formulate to that level. Mm? People mm. have tried, but it's still not. But it still remains yeah, superior yeah, to yeah, the yeah, formula. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could there be any other reasons, Dr. Doreen? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so babies who are breastfed have been found to be more immune, have a better immunity than those who are not. Mm -hmm. And this is because uh, breast milk is full of antibodies, mm. full of uh, anti all, all illnesses the mother has ever had. There is a database the mother's body has, and it puts those in breast milk. So babies have immunity for any illness the mother has ever had mm -hmm. since the baby's immune system is still immature. So they have the lowest levels of things like diarrhea diseases, ear infections. Mm -hmm. They are well nourished because, as Dr. Akena has said, 
the right composition of food is right in the breast milk. Mm. In addition to having those protective proteins, mm. the antibodies within the milk. Yes. Okay. And then mm. I think it also helps to improve the bonding between the mother, the mother and, the and the baby. The yes. We often hear that's advocated. That so for one of the biggest advantages of breastfeeding, mm. it encourages the bonding of the mother and the to baby. the baby. So you don't hear instances where let's say the mother has abandoned the child somewhere, has mm. left the child in someone's home. There's always that bonding which mm -hmm. comes when the mother breastfeeds the baby. Yeah, actually, your breasts will remind you that there's a baby you have. Oh, okay. Yes. So, mm -hmm. if, if breastfeeding is so important, mm -hmm. how soon should someone start? How soon should the mother start breastfeeding? Right away from within the first hour of birth. And this is irrespective of whether it's a normal delivery or a C-section. Mm. Uh, so, so, we expect the baby to find the breast and to seek the breast when they are with the mother. So this uh, traditional way of doing things where they ask you for the baby's clothes and take the baby away, that actually undermines and impedes breastfeeding. We need the baby and the mother to stay together in order for the baby to want to find the breast. Okay, so within, the first, within the first hour. First one hour. Yeah, so if the baby is born at 10 a.m., for example, by C-section, Within about five minutes, we expect the baby to be on the mother's body. Mm. But if it's a normal delivery, it's immediate. Mm. As soon as the baby is delivered, they should be placed on the mother's abdomen, and the baby will, will find the breast mm. within an hour, usually. So could there be um, dangers if there's a, a delay, like if the baby is breastfed, is mm. breastfed some time after delivery? What could be the dangers in there? Uh, the dangers are that one... A mother and a baby have gone through labor, and so they are both tired. So it, science has proven that after two hours, babies are tired and they want to sleep. And yet this time within the first hour we are talking about is, is a critical time because that is when they are awake and alert. And also that is when they are, their bodies are seeking to feed and to connect with the mother. And so if a mother is, if a baby is not with their mother within the first hour or two, after that time, the baby's interest to feed wanes down. And that also delays that demand on the body to start producing start milk. Producing yeah, milk. so that is delayed even further. Mm -hmm. And uh, a research was done in Ghana, and they showed that babies who, who were not breastfed within the first hour had a higher risk of dying. Okay, so and it, it helps improve the survival of the of baby. Of the baby, exactly, and it helps the baby to thrive. Mm. So it's not just survival, but it's also thriving. And in our, in sub-Saharan Africa, where Uganda is part, mm. the, the infant mortality rate is still high, or the neonatal mortality rate is still high. So probably a contributing so, factor is that we yeah. delay to start exactly. the breastfeeding. The other, the other important thing is colostrum, which is the first milk in the first uh, three days, mm. has very high levels of antibodies, which when they get into the baby's uh, gut, they kind of like paint the walls of the gut mm -hmm. so that if any infectious agents come in, they will find a wall of protection already. Mm -hmm. So this is why we also discourage giving the baby anything other than breast milk. Breast so it milk. ought to be the first thing. It's the first that meal the baby in. should have exactly. within the first hour. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, Dr. Kenna, if breastfeeding is so important, the next question is, how long should a mother breastfeed the child? Okay, mm. I, I, ideally, breastfeeding actually has to be exclusive. Exclusive means even no water is given to the baby. You Only breast, breast milk. milk. For the first six months. Okay. That's the recommended. Exclusive breastfeeding, For so the first six nothing months. like water, nothing. no additional milk, it's just breast, breast milk, milk alone. Exclusive. Okay. For the first six months. That's mm. the recommended. Mm. And then after that, you can substitute, not substituting, you mm -hmm. can supplement mm -hmm. with others, maybe porridge, you know, those are the ones that are in the market. Okay. You can give all homemade mm. until up to two years. Up to two years. Yes. All right. And are there benefits to that exclusive? Why does it have to be in the first six months, Dr. Dory? Within the first six months, a baby can ably survive and thrive on breast milk only because the breast milk has all those foods the baby needs. Mm. Also, this baby's gut is not yet well acquainted to handling other foods. Mm. So you might have 
complications of constipation, diarrhea, because the child's gut is immature. Mm -hmm. Also, their immune system is immature. So the, the baby is really maturing. Mm -hmm. so very, within it's the, a very critical time. Exactly. That's so within the months. first six months, that benefit is even incremental. So, so, so those first six months are very critical. Are you an upcoming mother? Are you worried about challenges you might have regarding breastfeeding? Send in your questions and comments on our social media platforms on Facebook and Twitter. Our guest doctors from the TMR International Hospital are happy to respond to each of your questions. You are watching the Doc Talk Show.